A mirror in the stars, Proxima B in the cosmic canvas. Imagine, if you will, a grand celestial concert, a breathtaking symphony performed by a seemingly infinite ensemble of stars, worlds, moons, and solar winds. Each element vibrates in harmony, a timeless rhythm echoing through the vacuum of space, as if the universe itself were humming a song older than time. Within this orchestral masterpiece, one section continues to captivate the human imagination exoplanets. Distant, often invisible worlds that lie far beyond the comforting edges of our solar system. These alien realms are strewn like cosmic confetti throughout the vast arms of the Milky Way, each one an unopened envelope containing the potential for wonder, mystery, or perhaps, life. Among these countless celestial wanderers, there exists one world so hauntingly familiar, so strikingly Earth-like, that it has been dubbed by some as our planetary twin. This is Proxima b, a potentially habitable exoplanet orbiting our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, located a mere 4.2 light-years from Earth just next door in cosmic terms. Think about that distance. In a universe that stretches 93 billion light-years across, to find a planet of such potential so nearby is like stumbling upon a rare diamond in a mountain of stone. But to truly understand what makes Proxima b extraordinary, we first need to grasp the scale and beauty of the larger cosmic canvas it occupies. A universe measured in grains of sand lets imagine each exoplanet discovered is no larger than a grain of sand. If we were to gather all the known and theorized exoplanets in the Milky Way, the number would be so staggeringly high that these grains would not only fill the Grand Canyon they would spill over, crafting a Grand Canyon 2.0, stretching 4 million kilometers across. And that's not poetic exaggeration, it's a reflection of real astronomical projections. There may be over a quadrillion exoplanets in our galaxy alone. Even more fascinating is that scientists believe 20% of these distant planets could share key similarities with Earth's rocky surfaces, temperate climates, and atmospheres that could support life. For every five exoplanets, there could be one Earth-like candidate. And orbiting many of these Earth analogs? Moons. Possibly a quadrillion moons rocky, icy, perhaps even atmospherically rich spinning in gravitational dances with their planetary hosts, just as our moon has done for billions of years. The eyes that peer into the abyss to explore these distant worlds, we've turned to one of the most powerful tools ever created. The James Webb Space Telescope a marvel of human engineering. A colossal eye in the sky capable of gazing billions of light years into the past, peering into the birthplaces of stars and perhaps even the signs of alien civilizations. Unlike any telescope before it, Webb doesn't rely on visible light alone. Its massive 6.5-meter mirror, coated in gold, allows it to capture the faintest glimmers in the infrared spectrum wavelengths invisible to the naked eye but perfect for revealing secrets hidden by cosmic dust and distance. Its instruments function like the diagnostic tools of a space-bound physician. Spectrographs and infrared sensors break down the light from distant planets, revealing the chemical makeup of their atmospheres, detecting everything from water vapor and methane to oxygen and carbon dioxide all potential signatures of life or habitability. With each spectral scan, the James Webb Telescope moves humanity one step closer from wondering about other worlds, to knowing them. The lure of Proxima b now let us return to Proxima b discovered in 2016. It has quickly become one of the most compelling subjects of exoplanetary research. Why? Because this planet doesn't just lie within reach astronomically speaking it lies within the habitable zone of its star. This means the temperature might be just right for liquid water to exist not too hot to vaporize it, nor too cold to freeze it permanently. Now imagine alien waterfalls cascading down towering cliffs, rivers winding through vast valleys beneath an amber sky, and oceans stretching into the horizon, dark, deep, and full of possibility. Yet for all its allure, Proxima b is not without its mysteries. Its star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf smaller, cooler, but far more active than our sun. It flares violently and unpredictably, sending bursts of radiation that could potentially strip away an atmosphere, or, perhaps, fuel unique forms of life we've never even imagined. And then, there's time. One day on Proxima b is approximately 11 Earth days long. 
Can you picture a sunrise that takes hours to unfold? Golden light lingering on the horizon for days at a time, followed by a night that stretches like a second winter? Would human biology adapt to such a cycle? Would our circadian rhythms sync with that alien pulse? Could we live there, work there, dream there? These are no longer the questions of science fiction. They are questions of near future signals, cities, and the search for the other in the vast and almost unfathomable quietude of deep space, amid the cold vacuum between stars and the gentle hum of background radiation. A sudden anomaly rippled through the silent, a whisper in the cosmic dark. A signal. Not a random burst of energy. Not the static hiss of the universe's infancy. But a deliberate, structured, rhythmic electromagnetic transmission. It didn't belong to any known natural process. Detected by the incredibly sensitive instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope, this signal was unlike anything previously recorded. It bore the hallmarks of intention mathematical precision, organized repetition, the kind of qualities we might expect not from nature, but from intelligence. It jolted scientists into a state of alert awe. Could this be it? The first handshake across the void? Was it an interstellar anomaly, a cosmic coincidence, or a deliberate echo of a beacon fired into the dark by an alien civilization long ago? And then just as quickly as it had emerged the signal was gone. Vanished. Evaporated into the silence from which it came. What followed was a storm of speculation. Was it a flare from Proxima B's host star? A reflection from an unknown object? Or was it a whisper from a world trying, just once, to be heard? From silent observation to active revelation the James Webb Space Telescope has grown into far more than a passive watcher of the skies. It is now functioning as a kind of celestial detective, using its finely tuned instruments to comb through starlight for the fingerprints of reality. No longer are astronomers satisfied with simply knowing that planets exist. Now, they seek to understand them to break down their atmospheres, decode their chemistry, and even look for technological signatures far beyond our current grasp. And so, a bold idea has emerged. Not just to search for biological signs of life like oxygen, methane, or carbon-based molecules, but to seek evidence of technology. Yes, artificial light. Imagine that. A distant planet, not glowing from the warmth of its sun, but from the electric heartbeat of a civilization, a city, or perhaps an entire world, bathed in its own light. Street lamps on alien boulevards. Industrial districts gleaming with soft artificial hues. Skylines reflecting off clouds beneath unfamiliar stars. A metropolis, perhaps, as vast and luminous as any on Earth. Such light wouldn't come from nature. It would be engineered brilliance, a signal not of biology, but of culture and civilization. To detect that glow however faint would be to witness intelligent life in action. Not merely life existing, but life illuminating its world a beacon visible from across the stars. If we're not alone, then what are we? And what would such a discovery mean? We wouldn't just be identifying another species. We'd be encountering another way of thinking, another version of existence. We'd be meeting a mirror, reflecting not what we are, but what we could be. It would rewrite our sciences, challenge our philosophies, and reframe our religions. Questions long held as abstract would become immediate and urgent. What rights do intelligent beings have across the cosmos? What responsibility do we carry in reaching out or staying silent? Would contact be a gift, or a Pandora's box? We would no longer be a solitary anomaly in a vast and indifferent universe. We would be part of a pattern in a cosmic rhythm of life, intelligence, and culture playing out across time and space. Humanity would face its greatest shift not of technology, but of identity. The human horizon so, what happens now? The James Webb Space Telescope continues to scan, analyze, and listen. Every flicker of light, every spectral fingerprint it captures, brings us closer to the answer of a question that has echoed through every human culture. Are we alone? And just as importantly, if not, who or what is out there? And what would it mean if one day, we found that another world could be our home? This isn't just the pursuit of data or discovery. It is the pursuit of meaning. A search not only for the, 
other, but for the missing pieces of ourselves. With each technological breakthrough, we evolve not just as scientists, but as cosmic beings capable of wonder, capable of connection, capable of humility in the face of the infinite. A new dawn, the night sky is no longer a mystery we merely admire. It is becoming a realm we can enter, examine, and someday inhabit. With the James Webb Space Telescope as our lens into that boundless mystery, we have moved from asking, what if, to boldly wondering, what's next, because we are no longer passive watchers beneath the stars. We are participants in a vast, unfolding cosmic story, a story of stars and civilizations, of light and silence, of signals sent and received. One star. One signal. One world at a time. We reach. We listen. We dream. And maybe just maybe someone is dreaming of